My name is Emmanuel Gore and I am from Sudan. Growing up, my family and my country was torn apart by civil war and famine. Over two million people died. When the Comprehensive Peace Agreement expires in 2011, my country faces another possibility of a civil war. When the Sudanese Conference of Catholic Bishops came to Notre Dame this past October, they made an appeal to the Catholic community asking for our support as the referendum approaches in Sudan. What we wanted to do is we wanted to think together about how we could harness the Notre Dame athletic brand uh, for social change and turn our stadiums and our, um, and our arenas into stages uh, to speak for for justice. How does this impact me personally? I think one of the really unique things about this event is that we had our athletes educated on the situation in Sudan. And to see like the look on the, our guy's face and, in the, and the, the student athletes on the men's basketball team's face, seeing the eyes popping out of their head as Emmanuel told them you know, his life story. I brought this delegation of bishops and some other folks from Sudan to talk about this impending crisis. When we get involved in an issue like Sudan, we are immediately tied to the most important non-governmental player in South Sudan, is probably the Catholic Church. and allows us to be engaged in some of these problems in ways that other universities can't. Our hope is that what this rally will accomplish is that it will spotlight Sudan and that all who leave the rally will come away with a sense of the urgency um, the urgency of this of this issue. We say every time after after extreme conflicts happen, never again. We said it after Rwanda. We said it after Darfur. This time we have a chance to make never again a reality and say that never again begins now. The Sudanese are gasping for a glimmer of hope to cling to and to know that Notre Dame professors and students are taking action to generate awareness gives us hope.